Bearded Jeeper here. Today we're going to do a review on the LED rock lights from StuffForJeeps.com. All right, so here are the rock lights installed. Uh, they're a little muddy because I've been off roading. Um, I was a little concerned about how they'd hold up because these are only made out of plastic, but they seem to be holding up pretty well. It's a hard, durable plastic. You attach them with these two self-tapping screws. One has a grounding cable behind it. Um, they're pretty easy to install. They, they just uh, attach with a quick connect. You won't be able to really tell how bright they are right now. I'll put a little video in here of uh, how of how well they do in uh, a dark situation. I went wheeling this past weekend in some caves and uh, they, they worked awesome. I can't say enough good things about them. You can start turning through right now if you want to pass it. You're going, you're going all right. Slow, slow on your rear. Yep, keep going, you're good. Turn a little bit more to your right. Now they're not as versatile as some of your more expensive lighting, like the ones that you can mount. Uh, just using a magnetic clip or something but for 75 bucks you can't really beat that deal you have six LEDs they do get dirty I guess but uh, I didn't really notice the difference when they were a little muddy um, compared to clean uh, the light still shines through pretty well but that should come when washing the Jeep should clean those they are waterproof so you don't have to worry about getting those wet I wired them all through the frame this kit comes with eight lights uh, recommends mounting two in front and two behind each tire um, I did an install video I'll put the link to that in the description below so check that out if you're wondering how they're actually installed and how I ra ran the cables and everything also comes with this nice LED switch it lights up I don't know if you can tell it's kind of bright out still but it lights up and uh, you can also mount this too if you have one of the pillar pods or the um, one that mounts up there you can mount it to an s pod or whatever you want to do but uh it comes with a switch so you can mount it right here if you want to wherever you want to mount it uh, let me click them on real quick so you can kind of get an idea of how bright they are and that's that's pretty bright even in the daylight six really bright leds kind of see the reflection in the puddle there but they're pretty bright they work well I've been through some deep water and uh, they haven't not worked for me yet I mean they are waterproof but 75 bucks I think they're an awesome deal I think they're they're a real good quality uh, especially for someone who's not looking to spend a, a ton of money on them uh, but have lights that work and work well uh, I'd definitely give these a shot uh, if you want any more info on these I'll put the link to them in the description below um, if uh, you have any questions post them in the comments below I'll try to answer them as best I can only downfall I think these have are this is plastic I'm not sure how well this will uh, take the impact of a rock hitting it up or bending it they seem pretty pretty solid but you never know 
Um, I mounted them up high enough so nothing should hit them, but I'll, I'll let you guys know with an update if if I do hit one, if they do break, what whatever goes on with them. Um, but I'm sure you can replace just this plastic housing. These are held in by, um, they have like double-sided tape on the opposite side of these lights. Um, it's like a heavy duty 3M stuff that holds the light into place. Uh, now, when I did get these, they had a couple of them that kind of come off. I pressed them in real hard, uh, waited a minute or so, and they haven't even loosened up now, so that they're they're on there. That and when you're mounting them, these bolts here are kind of hard sometimes to get to drill into the frame. If you're having trouble, try to pre-drill the hole a little bit. Um, and don't tighten them too tight or you will snap the head off. I've done it on a couple of them. But you can pick them up at a local hardware store, the, the parts. Well, that was my review, guys, of the LED rock light. They were nice enough to send me a set of these to review. Um, so make sure you go check them out. I'll put the link down below if you want to get a set or if you're interested in them. Uh, talk to Tim. He's a real nice guy. He's helped me with the install, helped me make the nice install video for you guys. So uh, I, I know a little bit about it. Um, if, you, if you need any help with them, uh, just leave a comment below or message me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, uh, usually within the same day as long as I'm not too busy. And uh, I'll answer any questions you have on them. Uh, they come in a, a variety of colors, white, blue, green, um, red. I, I forgot all the other colors, but you'll see them on the site. You can even get a remote control to dim them with. That's pretty cool. And as always, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out. What's up, guys? Bearded Jeeper here. Gonna give you a review today on the Tsunami Portable Max Volume Air Compressor. First off, I want to say I love the carrying case it comes with. 